Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a recipe from one of my dearest, dearest friends on the planet. I made something the other day when I made the goat cheese and salmon and spinach frittata. She's like, I bet if I eat any of that, I bet it would taste good. So I'm like, send me a recipe or two of your favorite things. So she did, and um, I picked this one. It was a apple taffy salad, which is, sounded intriguing. So today we're going to make that. And Wendy, thank you so much. And a lot of you know her, Wendy Beans. I was reading through, I got all my apples chopped, and then I realized I had to cool my mixture off. So I've got eight cups of apple in water and some lemon juice and some ice. So I'm just going to let those sit so they don't get brown, and then I'll drain them and towel them off. So in, in a... I'm just gonna, you know, in a saucepan, I'm just gonna use my Ninja Foodie. So, you you put in two tablespoons of vinegar. You put in one. It says 16 ounce can of pineapple, but my pineapple is a 20 ounce can, so I'll just leave a little off, a little out. Okay. We we'll just leave a little bit in the can, and then you add one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, and then two eggs. I'm gonna get that stirred up really quick before my eggs start scrambling on me. <laughs> All right, let's set this over here so you guys can see. All right, and it, she says cook on medium heat until it thickens up. So we're just going to let all that, get that sugar dissolved. Let this get hot enough to cook this egg. She said this tastes like caramel apples with nuts on it. Oh gosh. So I cannot wait till this is done. So we're just going to let that cook for a few minutes. I would say I've been stirring this probably like seven or eight minutes. And I can tell the mixture is thick and I think this is probably about about where I'm going to take it off. And I've got to take this off and let it cool all the way down. So I'll probably spread it out in a big dish and stick it in the refrigerator. Kind of speed that process up. So this will be about the consistency. wanted to show y'all this real quick. I got the mixture out of the pot and you see I got it to where it's kind of like a really thick custard and I put it in this baking dish just so I can go stick it out in my deep freezer and get this cool down faster so we can get all of our stuff added to it. All right I have got our pineapple mixture out. I let that cool. You see it's like a, a thick custard type of consistency. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add 16 ounces of whipped topping. So that will be two containers, two containers of whipped cream. I just put my face in that and eat it. Oh. I'm so excited to try this. <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to just get that stirred up really, really good.
that's good. And then I have eight cups, eight cups of chopped, chopped Granny Smith apples here. And we're just going to add that, add that to the mixture. All right. Ooh, this is going to make a lot. See, Wendy, I wish you were here, and that way you could eat three-fourths of this. Okay. And then you add two cups of chopped dry-roasted peanuts. And I just put mine in a Ziploc bag and hit them with my, I'm going to save a little bit for just a sprinkle on the top. Uh, you, I put them in a big gallon Ziploc bag and just hit them with my like French long rolling pin and it worked good. This smells divine. Oh. I know I'm gonna have to be, I will never eat all of this. I could never it be. Oh. Well, I probably could. Do I need to? No. I'll have my sister taking some of this to work for her, for her co-workers tonight. <laughs> all right, I think that's, Mixed up good. I'm gonna get me a little dish. We're gonna try some. Wendy makes me do bad things. All right. Let's try it for the taste test. Oh my gosh. She's right. <laughs> With those uh, chopped peanuts in there when you're eating this it tastes just like a, like a caramel apple or something and um, this is like a great cold little salad to take to a party or something it would be gone oh it's really good I want to thank Wendy for sending me this recipe. Because this is perfect. Perfect for summertime. I like a little cookout on the weekend. Like a cold, crunchy dessert. You guys will love this. But thank you guys for watching. And again, thank you Wendy for sending me this recipe. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next video. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye.